Welcome everybody. So today I decided that I'm going to do my own blend of Agua Florida. Agua Florida. Um, it is, what is Agua Florida? You know, you can Google it and you'll find all sorts of explanations. But basically it's uh, flower water is the direct translation. But it's, um, in a sense, it's kind of a cross between a smudge and a holy water. I've heard it described as that. I don't know if that's how people would, you know actually describe it but it's pretty close so it's used for often for protection for cleansing for boosting energy uh in a positive way that sort of thing and so uh, i'll walk you through the ingredients and it's a very straightforward process that i use in order to um, make my agua florida so i've got sage here which uh is was white sage collected from southern alberta for purification for um spiritual increase we've got bay leaves which are for essentially uh, in a sense of abundance and um, pine so i took a branch off a japanese pine tree for wisdom i've got sandal wood based incense sticks cloves which uh, symbolize protection and also cleansing <coughs> excuse me and uh, cinnamon sticks so that's spiritual increase etc and then i've got um, orange rind in there as well, which adds into the the, uh, the flavorful smell and also the, the overall spiritual uptake of the mixture. And so what we do is uh, it's a it's a tincture of, of sorts. I've got uh, two small bottles of Smirnoff vodka, 40%. And then what happens, so I put that into the mixture with, uh, with all of the different elements that you see here. I top it up with distilled water and uh, let it sit for a certain period of time before consecrating it and using it for uh, the purposes of spiritual cleansing, protection, abundance, uh, lifting spiritual energy up. So I have here a freshly cleaned jar that I'm going to put the ingredients in. So we'll start with the sage, we'll do the bay leaves, we'll do cloves in there. Put a lot of cloves in here, I like the smell and the, the protective element is really good too. Got the cinnamon sticks, I'm gonna put in there the Japanese pine for wisdom, and then the incense sticks, and then I finish it off with the uh, with the orange rinds, which uh, so the zest from the orange, which gives it that keynote smell. So then we add in the, the alcoholic portion. Vodka. Like so. And finally, I will add the distilled water into the mixture. And what I will do is I'll only fill it as high as the sort of the ingredients. So I won't fill it all the way up to the top, um, just to allow, allow the water to sort of cover all the different elements that are in there. And we let it sit. So traditionally what I do is I let it sit for three days. Um, I'm probably only gonna let this sit for about a day because I'm planning to use it. So I'll let it sit for a day and then I'll go through a consecration. I'll probably do a separate uh, video for that. Um, but I put it on my altar, uh, as I will show you, burn incense, candles, sort of a ritual, ritual beginning of the infusion of the elements into what will be the Agua Florida mixture. So as you can see, I've initiated a candle and incense uh, over the mixture as it begins to um, engage in becoming a tincture. So we will see how this looks tomorrow. We'll leave it overnight. And uh, that's my process. And I'll, like I said, I'll cover the consecration um, I use probably in another video.